Hey all, Wild here, and earlier this year on Streamlabs, we released the Layout Editor, which gave you some new features to kind of streamline and customize your layout for Streamlabs OBS. Well, guess what? We're kicking it up a notch and we're adding some new additional features, which I'm gonna share with you, so let's get started. Welcome back all you awesome people. Now if you're not familiar with the Streamlabs new editor layout, it's okay, we did a video on that. I'll put it in the top of the card or I'll put links down in the video description below so that way you can get caught up. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the new additions. First up, you now have the ability to add in a browser element, which lets you display any web page inside your Streamlabs OBS. A few awesome examples are adding a media share queue so you can have recent events and queue open at the same time, or you can have your CloudBot queue open and still be able to see your audio levels and recent events. Or even it's a great place if you simply want to access your music playlist on YouTube or any other website. Oh, and by the way, browser source interaction is enabled, so now you can click and type inside those windows as well. That's right, we got you covered. Next we have up is the Selective Recording Preview Screen. Now, if you're not familiar with what Selective Recording is, hey, we've done a video on that as well. I'm gonna put it in the top right corner and in the video description down below so you can get caught up. But essentially, it allows you to choose your sources that appear in a recorded video of your live broadcast. It's an extremely useful feature that you should take advantage of. In the latest layout editor update, we've added streaming preview and recording preview elements. These new elements allow you to easily see what the screen is going to look like in your recorded video or live stream. Before this update, it was kind of a hassle because you had to output to projector to see all these different things, but now it's way more streamlined. Layout editor profile pages are also new. After you click on the layout editor icon in Streamlabs OBS, you'll see a new button that says add tab. The new add tab feature acts as a profile manager. And if you're a Streamlabs Prime subscriber, you can now add multiple pages with different tab layouts. This feature can be easily useful if you like to stream a variety of different content. For example, maybe you wanna put more emphasis on your events feed for IRL streams, or if you decide to start gaming, you may wanna to switch to a profile that emphasizes your screen selector, as you may often want to switch between different scenes and sources in between games or rounds. Here at Streamlabs, we understand that everybody's stream is personal and everybody's gonna be a little bit different, which is why we try to give you the best tools to help customize your stream for you and your community. Now that does it for me on this video. My name is Wild for Games. Help giving you the best Streamlabs advice you can get. If you need any more help, I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that teaches you a little bit more about selective recording, because trust me, you're gonna love it. I will see you guys all later. Take care, stay safe, and of course, peace.